Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some new and exciting lashes to share with you. So these lashes are part of the new set of Moxie Lash. I've actually had these for a little while, so I'm very sorry I didn't get this video out sooner, but you know, there's sometimes we just had to take a break from different things. And I was just taking a little break from, you know, being on YouTube and stuff. And I just felt like I needed time to catch up on other things in my life. Well, anyhow, so these lashes kind of seem more like a total group of lashes that I could probably wear maybe every day or even if I went out at night you know I found that I don't really like the too crazy dramatic ones because when I put them on they just like I feel like you can tell they are fake and I want them to just like blend more with my natural eyelashes or just look more like like they're mine <laughs> and not like stuck on my eye, right? So, so today I have five of the new lashes for us to try on as well as the brown magnetic eyeliner. Now I will say that I am in love with their black magnetic eyeliner. I do feel that this brown one maybe isn't as strong of a hold as the black one, but it still works really well. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a quick preview of all of the lashes and then I will individually be trying them on. The lashes that I have on right now are the wifey lash. I consider this lash a lash that I could definitely wear to work or wear out during the day and it looks totally fine and it looks pretty natural and it is just a gorgeous lash. So I'm going to be showing you the brown magnetic eyeliner and I'm going to be doing a swatch next to it with the black magnetic eyeliner here. They honestly feel like they are the same consistency. This is just a side-by-side -side comparison of them. You can see the brown versus the black. Sorry, I'm not a great painter. So let's get into the best part, which is the lash swatch. So we are going to be starting off with the sexy lash. So the sexy lash is a fox mink. It is considered a full drama 18 to 15 millimeter lash and the lash band width is 34 millimeter. All right, so I'm gonna get these off here. Today we are gonna be using the brown magnetic eyeliner. Now, I usually do put the magnetic eyeliner on with a different brush, but when I got it out of my bag, I still had the magnetic eyeliner on that one and it was all like hard and crusty and now the brush is wet. So something to know with these eyeliners for Moxie Lash and even the Glamnetic is they are very tricky to use when you are using the stick. Now the one way to get around this is to do your mascara first and then your eyeliner because this eyeliner part on the stick is going to get all over your eyelashes and <laughs> it's going to look gross, okay? I mean not really, it's not going to look that bad, but still it's just is going to clump them together and it's not going to be pretty even though you're going to put the lash on it's going to like hide it a little bit but still you don't want like your two front lashes to just be like stuck together and clumped with this magnetic eyeliner which is actually pretty thick so what i recommend is using an eyeliner brush and i'm not going to use it in this video because the one that i usually use is actually wet i have about three of them i don't know how i lose all of them but i'm on my last one that i have before i get started i'm just going to put on another line of this eyeliner just because every time you take off a lash it does actually take off the eyeliner with it all right so here's the brown magnetic eyeliner i actually like the color of this better than the black magnetic eyeliner just because it's more it's not as out there i don't really like really dark dark eyeliner so i would prefer to wear this one all right so here's a close-up i'm just going to show you guys the actual band here so this one is 34 millimeter band so I just wanted to show you the band because if you can see the two magnets there's one on the end and the next one is not till right here if you cut that whole thing off and which I would have to do for my eyeball you're literally stuck only with this long of the lash so you're losing this whole part of it right here so i mean this one's actually pretty long so it wouldn't i don't think it'll be that bad after i cut it 
but still like I would rather have cut it somewhere in the middle. The next lash that we are going to be showing is the Naughty Lash, right in time for Christmas. So this Naughty Lash is a mink lash. It is considered a mid volume lash and the lash length of actual lashes are 10 to 17 millimeters and the lash band is 33 millimeters. This one's really pretty. I right now I'll give this one a 10 in my opinion. I like where it goes. It's going barely to my eyebrows. I always feel like if it goes longer to that when I press it up, then it's a little bit weird and a little bit too much for me. But this one is, this one, this one knows what it's doing. Okay, so this is the Naughty Lash. This is perfect for Christmas, all right? It is 2020 and the whole freaking world has been naughty, okay? I mean, I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about everything that is going on. It's just horrible. Okay, guys, the next lash we have is called the Pretty Lash. So this is a mink lash that we have here and it is considered a mid-volume lash. The lashes are 10 to 16 millimeters and the lash band is 33 millimeters. This one's really pretty as well. It is, I would say, more of a full rounded lash. I think it's actually pretty more on the, maybe like in between like dramatic and a medium full, I'd say. It is actually very, very pretty. One of the things that I really appreciate about Moxie Lash is when I put the lashes on, they look pretty identical to each other. Like one doesn't look like it's going straight out and up. And I found that with some of the Glamnetic lashes, I do love some of the Glamnetic lashes, don't get me wrong, but I have noticed that initially I thought it was because some of my eyelids are like one of my eyelids is a little bit of a different size than the other. So I thought it was like all like the asymmetry in my face. But when I look at more of the Moxie lashes, they, are, they look pretty similar on <laughs> my face, the eyelashes. So I don't really know. Maybe it's all in my head, but I've heard some other people say it. So, so then again, maybe it's not all in my head. But here's a close up for you. See if I look up all the way they are into my eyebrows just a little bit. So far, this Naughty Lash, which is the one that I had on previously, and this pretty lash very nice i agree very pretty all right guys so the next lash we have here is the moody lash so this is a mink lash which is a mid volume lash and the length of the lashes are 8, eight to 16 millimeter and the width of the lash band is 32 millimeters so the width of the lash band is this and this is the shortest one so far that we are going to be trying on so i'm happy about that because i feel like this is going to be one that is more so going to fit my eyelid so far i can describe this as like fluffy it gives me a fluffy feeling like it's just a fluffy lash. Some of the lashes are kind of looking a little bit crazy. I do know that that can happen with the mink lashes, but you see how it just looks fluffy? Like it, some of the lashes are just like up, like really high up and a little bit like curly and crazy in there. And some of them have like that, it's up and then down. You see like up here and then looks like it's going down downwards here and then up in between in between there right so this moody lash i feel like <laughs> the hairs have a mood of their own literally because some of them are like sticking like straight up like in and up and it feels like very voluminous it feels very voluminous it's kind of weird i don't know what to think about this what it feels like on or looks like on it feels like the lash is like expanding like this wide like like inward that's what it looks like so it just looks very fluffy so this lash is still nice but i don't think i'd buy this one again
it's hard to tell in the camera but it's just, just fluffy and i think that the pretty lash that i tried on previously is seems to be the same length and so far it just is more put together and looks a little bit better to me overall i would still wear this one i just don't think i would buy this one again i would rather buy the pretty lash okay so the last lash that we have here is the worthy lash so the worthy lash is a mink lash it is considered mid volume and it is 10 to 15 millimeters of the lash length and the band is 33 millimeters yeah see i can tell this band is long and the reason you you know is like you can tell the side of it will keep popping off because your eye is like this and it goes straight so it's hard for the eye instead of it because it wants to be curved, the lash wants to be curved. So for it to be curved, I'd have a gap up there if I was placing it right. So if I cut this one, again, I would be losing like this much volume from it. And that's not going to be as nice of a lash. It's going to be have to be a little accent lash to the side if I cut it. All right, so this lash is very nice. But for me, the lashes, they look very, a little bit, too long for me but they do actually i feel like they make my eyes look very open and awake which is interesting because these are supposed to be 15 millimeters like up to 15 millimeter length of the lash but they're definitely longer than that right like that's going all the way to my eyebrow in all aspects almost It does look very nice on the camera. It looks beautiful. So you can definitely get this and it's going to look really pretty. Even out in the daytime, I think it would be okay. It's just a little bit um, more of a dramatic lash, I think. I do have something special to tell you guys, but before I do, if you had fun watching the video today, go ahead and remember to like and subscribe. And the one thing I do have to tell you is that I have this gift that I am going to be giving away to one of my lucky subscribers. It is the HSN birthday box. So it has some fun products in it. And I just wanna give this to you guys because I really appreciate you guys for, you know, subscribing and following along with me. And you know, I do take suggestions. So if there's anything that you guys want me to try or talk about, then I am always definitely open to do so. So anyhow, I will put the information down below on how you can, you know, try to get this box, but please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because that is definitely going to be a requirement. Well, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.